Hey guys, so I got a comment the other day, alright, on my, uh, if I got my three wishes, right, and they, they asked, um, well, if you had your three wishes, if you got your powers, then what would be your kryptonite? Well, you see, it's kind of interesting, is that if I got my three wishes, I would and wouldn't have any kryptonite. Here's the thing. Theoretically, if I got my powers, you could say that, you, you could be like, okay, if, if you have a big enough brain, you can say, I imagine I have the power to be like David. Okay, well now, I get that power, but because I get that power, they get that power. Because they asked for that power. So, yeah. Is someone over here? Oh, that's weird. Keep hearing something. Anyway. I'm hearing things. I'm going crazy. Anyway. Um, and then you have... What was I saying? Yeah, okay. Um, and then you, that that's... you Technically, your kryptonite is because if anyone can just imagine something and they can imagine being powerful, well, then they get that power. So, technically, if they were evil, then... Everybody could be my kryptonite, but here is when it kind of goes a little south. Um, technically, this is when nobody is my kryptonite because I have the power to see everything and I have the power to know everything. I already know someone's going to go and do that, so I'll just stop it. I'll just make sure that they can never imagine or imagine anyone else imagining it. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's, you know, it's kind of like that. But it's like, you know, technically everyone's my crit. And then of course you have the you have the thing, it's like, okay, well I imagine that I have the power to be like David and David can't see it. Okay, well now I can't see it because the thing is I can see it because I already knew they were gonna do that before they did it. So that's that's the thing about like, huh, how are you how what is your kryptonite? So technically, nothing is my kryptonite, unless you want to take out literal kryptonite, because if I have the power of Superman, I have the weakness of Superman, which is kryptonite, but technically I don't, because I have the power to, you know, have that power not affect me. And even if it did affect me, it only affect the Superman part, which means I can't fly, laser eyes, heat, and freeze breath, but technically I have all those powers still, because I have the power of the Eternal, who has... The, and he can also fly, so you know there's that, and then I also have the power of, what was it, it was the freeze and heat breath. Technically, if you guys have ever seen the show Thundermans, my, my brother loves that show. Uh, it's about like superheroes trying to live a normal life, basically. Um, well, one, two of those superheroes who are twins, Max and Phoebe, um, have telekinesis and heat and freeze breath. So technically, I get that as well. I get that, uh, sorry, heat and freeze breath. And then, you know, a, a ton of other superheroes that get that power or supervillains. So, technically, technically, I have Kryptonite, but that Kryptonite is useless. So, yeah. There you go, Desiree Adams. By the way, there's her comment right there. Um, just to sum that up for you. Right there. All right.